Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So let's have a look at the star map today. Uh, looks like the Falcon is doing really well. So we've got a lot of planets, a lot more than the last time we were on. Looks like we took Tathis, we were trying to help that out last time and didn't really work out. But we are slowly making our way to, through, down, down through the jump points here. Looks like we've taken Brim, uh, we've also taken Tranquil and Hector. And it looks like uh, Steel Viper has taken back uh, New Kent from Wolf so and we're working on Sheridan so not too many people on tonight um, but definitely uh, doing a good job of um, you know keeping the Falcon alive here so we're sitting at iron hold right now what I want to try and do um, so I want to uh, just so you know I went to a visit with my doctor and my doctor is telling me I got to spend less time on the computer because of the nerves in my arm he said until they're better you know, I, got, I really I had two choices. I told him about, you know, doing YouTubing at night and uh, working all day on a computer. And he's like, well, you know, you should really choose one or the other till your arm is better. And I'm like, well, what if I just choose a little bit of both? So I'm uh, going to be working a sh little, few shorter hours every day, but I'll still be playing a little bit at home. So um, I really won't be able to do full episodes. So it looks like we'll just be doing like one mission or so. Um, probably a night for the next little while just until my arm is better uh, the nerves in my arm are really bad right now um, making my left arm extremely sore uh, so uh, we're just going to pull off a mission today what I want to try and do let's go to the mech base because we did take some damage on the gorilla last time um, and you know it was late in the evening and I was like ah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing so I ended up putting I think it was four ER large lasers on this. I don't know. We don't have it back for this next mission, but uh, we are getting that working and stuff. The night gear uh, I didn't get changed. is still the same with the arrow and the LRMs. Somebody had mentioned too about um, see the layout of this this night gear is kind of weird, right? Um, unfortunately, I think it was was it uh, Boyd of Zing? He mentioned that you know putting more missiles like what showed me a loadout with more missile systems in the arms. But as you can see, I'm kind of like hemmed in by my my uh, point, like my um, uh, hard points here. So somebody mentioned maybe putting a couple of PPCs in, and if we go to the PPC here real quick, uh, so if we put in like ER PPCs, it's two slots. So I can't get one in the head. I could get one in the center torso, but you know it's a lot of heat. Yeah, it's pretty good damage, but it's like 55 heat. And it's six tons, so and I, and that would mean that we have to pull out the arrow system and go all LRMs. Is it worth it? I, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, the other option would be to go ER large lasers, in which case I could drop one in the head and, and stuff, but then I have to pull out the arrow system. Um, I'm actually seriously considering pulling the arrow system out. I'd like to get you know your opinion on it when you guys see this. Um, I'm going to leave it in for now. Uh, so also somebody too mentioned uh, not necessarily going with the heat uh, ammo. It is only one ton. Um, and heavier mechs aren't going to be that affected by it. But if you think about it, reducing his heat efficiency by 40 for six turns could be a, a, you know, a huge uh, tide turner. against, Especially against uh, mechs that requ uh, have a really high energy build. You hit once with one of these things and it's like it's half as effective as it normally would be, right? So... That's kind of the only reason why I'm leaving it in right now. Um, so the other build I was thinking about going with, and this is, it's, it's see, the arrow system is like, what, 18 tons? 12 tons, sorry, it's a lot lighter. 12 and 3 tons for ammo. But we do have, if we scroll down here, we do have enhanced LRMs here. Uh, now, these things are really heavy. They're 13 tons a pop. Um, but the damage is like 6 tons per missile. Or, sorry, 6, six damage points per, per missile. It's... It increases with the distance to the target, right? So the farther the target is away, the more damage it does. So it'll do 50% more damage. So it can do up damage up to six points, it looks like, for 22 heat. I was thinking about dropping a couple of these bad boys in, one in each arm, um, and then going with just regular LRM-15s in the torsos here. We can get an LRM-70 loadout built in here. Um, and then I can switch this to the arrow system, and we can switch to air, um, Artemis ammo. Or sorry, switch this to Artemis uh, fire control and then all Artemis ammo, which will give us a bonus to hit with everything. Uh, so that is a possibility. I like that you'd be able to use the Streak LRM 20, but unfortunately you don't have any uh, Streak LRM ammo. I haven't actually seen any in game at all yet, so that's kind of like, what do you do, right? 
Um, the other thing is I could go, I could run just four LRM twenties, uh, and if I go that route, we might be able to put a couple of ER large lasers in here. Now these are heat eighteen, um, so I want to play around with this build, but I'm not going to do it tonight. I want to. We need C bills, so we're going to do a mission for C bills tonight, um, and see how that goes. So that's the possibility for this guy, and the where are we here? So. Um, I made a mention too of possibly running dual ultra 20s on this guy and if we just do this real quick let's just strip everything off All right we don't really have the tonnage like so if I go down uh, let's go to ballistic real quick and let's grab an ultra 20 down here we've only got one right now uh, where are you here oh no, we got two of them sorry so if I put two ultra 20s in right we almost have no tonnage left so I wouldn't really even have tonnage for ammo. Now I could put, um, I think we have Heavy Pharaoh. I could put Heavy Pharaoh in. Uh, do we have Heavy Pharaoh? We don't. So regular Clan Pharaoh Fibrous. And I do have a couple, well I got one half ton. So this would only be five tons of ammo. And at that point we're firing like seven times and we're out of ammo. So as much as I'd love to try this build out, it really isn't that possible. Now we could go... Um, we could go dual ultra tens. Uh, we do have rack twenty ammo. But we don't have a rack twenty. We do have where are we here? Ultra tens, right? We could go with a pair of ultra tens, and that would give us more than enough ammo. And we could put some other weapon systems on. So that's a possibility. Uh, we could go with, and I tried out a rack five in um, night witches, um, but we could go with the uh, rotary auto cannon five, and then something else. Uh, I thought about maybe doing a dual Gauss rifle, rifle build, but once again, once you get these Gauss rifles in, uh, that's not that's it, right? There's really nothing else you can put in this thing. Uh, I do have a, a precision Gauss um, fire control system that would work. We could put like four tons of ammo in, or even three tons of ammo. That would give us 12 turns of firing. Uh, and then we'd have two tons left over for, what, I don't know, a couple of medium lasers maybe, ER mediums. So is it really worth it? Uh, I don't know two gosses and a pair of ER mediums compared to what we had before, which is um, two ER larges, which are almost giving us the same damage as the goss, the two ER mediums plus two LRM 15s. So, I mean, you know, it's six of one half dozen of another. Uh, also, too, um, one of the builds that I saw sort of put, uh, spread the ammo out across the mech because there was no case involved, um, but put the LRMs in the arms. Uh, the reason why I don't like doing that I mean, you do get accuracy bonuses for being in the arms, but if you lose an arm, like we like for instance on the uh, um, the gorilla in the last mission, when you lose an arm, you've lost half your weapons, right? They're all gone. Like you know what I mean? If you just lose an arm on this Mac, you've still got the two LRM15s and two other weapon systems that you could use, right? So I mean, the chances of just losing an arm are pretty slim. Usually, it's a torso that you get you lose and you lose the whole side. But if you do just lose an arm, like all your weapons are gone, right? for that side. So that's kind of why I don't like doing it. Um, anyway, and I, I don't think at this point in the game either, I would go with a build without case in it, especially case two. It's really running the risk of like getting an ammo explosion and taking the mech out. And I just, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Even if you spread out the ammo, um, like if you get a hit in the leg, your leg's gone. And then, you know, it's just, bad right i've had a few bad experiences where i've had the ammo in the legs and lost the leg completely and i lost the mech right so or you lose the whole side and then then what do you do right so you know having it in one spot with case is just fine with me um yeah so that's uh, the timberwolf i do want to refit this guy this mech um although i don't know maybe we pull out the lrms maybe we go with auto cannons um we could go the ultra 10 route um the rack five. I'm not. I'm not really a big rack five fan. We. I had it in um, one of the mechs. Um, one of the bushwhackers I've got in um, um, the Night Witches series, and it's nice to have that continuous 45 damage output. But I think the thing that I have a problem with is it's mostly splash damage everywhere, 45s. So it hits in random places everywhere, unless you're like you know, trying to, to do a pinpoint hit. Um, 
and I think I would re like I know and you could say the same thing about like ultra tens or whatever but the ultra tens the 60 splash compared to 45 splash I think is a little better just because of the harder hitting nature of it um, anyway I don't know I'm not convinced and I, I jammed a lot with that ultra 5 too so you know take it for what it's worth so uh, maybe the ultra 10 build in here I don't know it will run definitely a lot cooler but I still don't mind this build I just still don't mind the lasers and missiles uh, loadout 12 turns of LRM ammo is like more than plenty so anyway uh, that being said just a couple things to keep in mind um, if you can see a build that you might think might be better just let me know um, what I am considering doing though is the Stormcrow Prime right now we've got a uh, massive pulse laser build so the Stormcrow D which it was um, Mockingbird's old mech uh, I'd like to refit this guy and make it into the new Nova E. Where we've got the Ultra 20 on the Nova E. I want to kind of move this stuff into the Stormcrow D. Uh, only because the Stormcrow D is a little heavier. Uh, it's a little faster. Um, so, and it, so it'll have more armor, a little bit more speed. Um, and then Ultra 20 will, will ultimately probably do a lot more damage. Now, I don't know how that'll work out going in here but that's what i'd like to try and do uh, not gonna do it right now obviously but uh, that's just something for the future uh, if you've got any other suggestions for maybe like the old nova uh, which we had the uh, er large and then four er mediums uh, i think we need to refit that guy as well uh, maybe we go with an auto cannon build we could go with an ultra 10 build or something um, but for now let's just jump into a contract here so let's go to let's go to contracts and we're going to take uh, Contested Will, I believe. Yes, it's local government forces. We're going to negotiate this. And we do need sea bills, so I'm thinking 2 of 10 salvage is probably enough. This should give us more than enough for our financial report. Uh, I did sell a whole crap ton of stuff, so this is pretty much all we have left. So let's accept this. And we're going to need to have a mech for Griff here. And I'm going to bring in a Stormcrow Prime, because why not? That's his old mech. And see how he does with the pulse lasers. So let's deploy this and get it done. Alright, here we go. Let's capture this base. Ancestral base? What? That more looks more like an operational fortress to me. Never seen anything like this before. Sure you have. We've been here before. We've been here several times. Alright, let's move out. Yeah, liking the speed back again. Yes, Commander. Got it. So the Nova's not that slow. Standing by. And Timberwolf's pretty damn fast for a 75 ton. It's this guy's donkey ass slow. But we're on a road, so not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for all the comments too. It's, it's just fantastic. Uh, giving me a lot to think about too with loadouts and stuff. Stuff that I hadn't considered in the past. Yeah. I'd love to do, do the Ultra 20 build. I was kind of salivating when I thought of that, putting it on the, the Timberwolf, but we just don't have the weight. And I can't change the engine, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to change that core out, but can't do it. So we're stuck with what we have. But Ultra 10s might work too, right? All right, uh, let's wait for everybody to show up. Good to go. Confirm. Let's go, team. Standing by. Go, team. On the move. Don't really have to worry too much about you. Waiting for order. So I need to find some variant ammo for LRMs as well. I do have chaff and inferno ammo. Inferno ammo, uh, I'm kind of out to lunch on it for LRMs. Like, if you've got a lot of LRMs, ooh, modern operational military base, what? I never would have thought. Um, yeah, so the LRMs, it's only one point per LRM hit of heat, which if you've got another mech that's overheating people, yeah, sure, it's it's... You know, that extra little bit that can tip it over the edge. But if you don't, I don't know. At one point, it's like, it's almost a waste of a missile since your damage is going to be, like, almost nil, right? So, all right, Griff, this is all yours, buddy. Let's get up here. 
Let's get in the striking space. So we know they're going to land here. Yep. So let's just be prepared for that. Aye, aye. I think you're fine right here. On my way. Commander? I think you'll be fine here. Let's get to the back. Hopefully they won't be able to target us back here. All right, here we go. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile, hostile contacts inbound. inbound. Well, let's hope they're tough. That's right, you guys move. Move first. Fulcrum, oh great. Missile carrier, well... Receiving you. You know, forget it, we're gonna reserve. All right, Valkyra. Valkyr. Val I can't even pronounce it. I'm not even going to attempt. I butchered the name. Oh, Crusader! We need Crusader parts. We need Crusader parts. Commander? We do need Crusader parts. So let's shred everything else except for the Crusader. Um, do we want to walk it up? Or do we want to push these guys, like get right in their face? Well, that's how we do. That's how we do. Oof. Really bad chance to hit. A little, better, a little better on the Crusader. Oh, this guy's a melee mech. I don't like that. We got to kill this guy. Why didn't you guys tell me he was a melee mech? What the hell, guys? You're just laughing at me now. You're like, ah, oh, he's gonna run into the melee mech and we're gonna get killed. So I've been toying with the idea of maybe doing like a live stream or something. But then I gotta like, you know, make sure I do it at a certain time and so everyone knows what I'm on and all that. And I just don't always have that luxury, unfortunately. Um, oh, if we're going to do that, let's get our back to the wall. I don't want that guy to be hitting me from behind. And, yep. Okay, one hit. It's a pirate, is it? Can we get around? We can't. Question is, do I want to try and take... No, I don't want to try and take the Crusader's legs. I was like, oh, maybe I ought to shoot the Crusader's legs and this and that and the other thing. Unlikely. The pulse laser vomit is real. Receiving you. Location confirmed. We got the ammo. Let's use it. Holy crap, dude. This guy... <laughs> this guy is going to get shredded. Roger. -na 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 Ultra 20. Goodbye. Tango down. Bang, you're dead. Yeah. You're motherfucking dead. Let's give that Crusader somebody else to shoot for. He goes on 19. I think we all go before him anyway. Frokram, shitty chances. Even worse. I don't want to shoot this guy. I want to pick his legs off, so we're just going to fire on him. Oh my god, it hit. The arrow hit it. I have no idea how much damage we did with that arrow system, but damn. Damn. Um, you get a side shot on him? We can. 
Uh, let's just make sure we're not where this thing is landing. Uh, we're going to turn off the LRMs. Gonna turn on Warlord. Offensive push this guy and see if we can clip his leg off here. Copy that, Commander. Oh, sharpshooter. All right, grip the stiff. Let's get around here. And we're going to shred this missile carrier. Or maybe we won't. Well, let's Warlord it. That way we can. I don't want this thing firing. Looks like we're trying, trying to shoot both targets there. Ah, crap. He's going to get to go. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Not quite enough. Okay, not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Okay, Crusader, let's see what he does here. Not really a big Crusader fan, but it is 65 tons, so we'll take it if we can get it. Getting banged up real good. Actually, it kind of looks like a praying mantis from this location. Like, if you watch when he turns back around, it kind of looks like a mantis with its arms tucked up. But, anyway, that's just, uh, you know, my personal observation. So I don't think they're going to survive this past this turn. So we're going to do this and this and fire. Jesus, Griff. Leg. The leg. You got the wrong leg. Dude. Other leg, dude. The other leg. Oh, yeah. You know, Blockade's going to get mad at me. He's totally going to get angry because he's like, I, I can't, like, get any kills anymore. I don't have any pinpoint weaponry. Um, let's go this route, and this route, and this route, and this route, and fire. Okay, two leg hits. How much you got left there? Not much. Okay, Mockingbird. Don't even need to move. And let's go with the mediums, I think. 59, eh? One large, one medium, maybe. Uh, let's go this route. That figures. Got both legs. Nice. Jump for the ship, man. Well, that was an easy four skull. Mission successful. All right, 561,000. That's going to give us more than enough for our next financial report. And I know we have Crusader parts, so I'm going to grab two. Unless there is something better. C3 Slave. XL, regular XL engine. Eh. Not really. All right. Oh. Four Crusader pieces. Nice. Valkyra. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Valkyra? Valkyrja? Whatever. ECM ammo. Okay. Okin Finoki? Oki Finoki. Ah. Okay. Um, 60 grand. Not bad. I mean, our mechs are expensive to repair anyway. So, Trimble Wolf took a bit of damage. That's about it. So, let's... Uh, we're okay. Let's wait for the um, gorilla to come back. And I think we'll take another quick mission here. And then I gotta call it. I can't spend too much time playing, unfortunately. Let's get that gorilla back. Didn't get the Crusader. Thank you. Alright, so... There is a three skull we can take real quick. I want to see how this... Um, Liberation, destroy base. Uh, we want to go full salvage? Prob well... You know what? It's against like local government or pirates or something. Let's just go 2 of 9. We'll go sea bills. Chances of getting some... Wait a minute. What the hell? 
What did I make make a mistake on here? What haven't I made a mistake on in the past? Let's find out here. Invalid location. Heat sinks cannot be mixed. We got prototype. Oh, did I not? Oh, that's why. I think I might have proto double heat sinks too. Or heat sink kit. Man. You know, when you do things when you're in pain, it's like make mistakes all the time. Not saying that's why I made a mistake. It could just be that I'm an idiot, but that's a possibility. Um, uh, yeah. So we got four larges on here. So I'd have to take the these out. Can't put E cooling because of the core. But I could up the core from a 255. What do we have? 250. That's nine and a half tons. Uh, I don't have any other. What about a 265? It's 10 tons. I mean, it's not much more cooling, but it does a little bit more speed. Yeah, well, should we run this way? Sure, why not? Is it a better upgrade than before? I don't know, but let's just try it. Just because we can. We're on an easy oh, mission, so. Be so the grill is another option for maybe the Ultra 20 build. Job's done, Commander. Or a pair of Ultra 10s or something. Alright, let's take another quick contract and then got to end this sucker. Alright, liberation. Let's negotiate. Let's go down the center here. Accept. And pull the storm crow and let's get our gorilla back in play. Let's deploy this. Command interface initiated. All right, let's do this. I don't think I played a destroy base on this map before. That's interesting. Standing by. Well. Let's just go straight up this way. Let's move. It's sad that we can't target buildings from this range. Full well, the gorilla does have a lot more speed. Standing by. That doesn't bode well though with its uh its ECM Ready, system. It. it needs to be moving slowly to be basically invisible. See if we can get some eyes on. Okay. What do we got here? Thunderbolt. Standard turret. Standard turret. Commando. We could wax out the commando. Marshall. Huh. Marshall McLuhan? Where do we kill a turret? Large, medium. Medium, a pair of sixes. A pair of LRMs. A lot more gak. This is a pretty much a definite kill though, I think. Guns off the field. Roger. Ooh, almost. One, two, three, four. Question is, can he see us? See how this build works out? Wow, no heat at all. None. <laughs> okay, I'm liking it so far. 
Of course, this guy hadn't moved yet, so. Waiting for orders. I don't know, man. The ER larges are just for the weight and everything. It's really, I think, the most efficient weapon for the damage. Four tons. I know it's like 40 heat, but it's 60 damage, right? So let's pull this guy out of the game. Uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about this. Just fire. Are you serious? We missed with the uh, arrow. Like it might all, it, it might, it might just be worth looking at the four LRM twenty loadout with a couple of ER larges. Damn it. Couldn't get the same location, eh? Well, we almost got him. Yeah, the ER large. I mean, I like the the idea of using the PPCs with um, the PPC capacitor. Oh, an ambusher. Okay. Um... Sure, buddy. Spit that vitriol is not going to do you any good. Um, but the ER larges, like the 60 damage, I know it's 40 heat, but it's only 4 tons. Gives you plenty of opportunity to mitigate the heat. We figure ER PPC is 65, oh, I guess 70 damage for 55 heat. It's 2 tons more. So a large plus two heat sinks is really, what, 28 heat? It's the same weight for almost, well, 10 points less damage, but still. This guy's like, why are they picking on me? Uh huh. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Ready for orders. Move order received. There's that ambusher. Let's see if we can remove this guy from the battle. Don't want him here. Oh my god, he took both legs off? That's some damn fine shooting, I must say. Some damn fine shooting, I must say. Uh-huh. It's going to be a multi. Firing at this guy and this guy. This bee barely needs anything. So let's just put these two on it and everything else to... Uh, let's go ABC. Go this route. See what happens. Was that an... That was an AMS going off. Is that this ambusher's AMF, AMS shooting down the uh, missiles? It sure as hell looked that way. Um, who am I going to give the kill to? That's five. Let's not move five. One, two, four... Griff's not a, a hog for kills here. Gonna do this. See if we can pull these turrets out. Okay, nicely done. And Mockingbird. There we go. Enemy eliminated. Not so bad. This guy's gonna die hard. You're not gonna survive next turn, buddy. 
might as well get all your damage out now. Thank you for showing up to the fight. Oh yeah, that was the other thing I dropped on the bushwhackers, the uh, AMS. Or sorry, the gorilla that is. Put it on a laser AMS system. Yeah. Can you uh, please show this uh, bushwhacker what a real AC looks like? I would really appreciate that if you don't mind. Of course you have. And fire. They both hit. Oh, he's unsettled. Just gonna shoot him up. Firing. Yep. Alright. Oof. Dude, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Let's warlord this one, because we can. Firing. Ooh, 187. Shredded. I hope we can salvage that. Yeah. Standing by. Well, he wants to deal damage so he gets himself in trouble. That's all I gotta say. Let's move into here. We're gonna do a multi-target. Um, yeah, small building. We can probably kill that one. 100. So those are all going to A, missiles to B, and fire. Enemy structure damage command. Good shot, commander. Enemy structure down. I almost got it. More pirates from over there. Yes, commander. On it. Let's send this guy back to the Marshall Islands. Firing. I'm gonna say it again, again. Damn, those guys that ported these mechs over, wonderful job. They look fantastic. On my way. Well. Let's finish this guy up. Oof. I don't know, man. The arrow system in its element like this is pretty damn good, but you get it in its, where we had it in that last battle. It just wasn't there. Like, it just wasn't there for us continuously. Um, which is kind of a letdown. And I think for a weapon system, it needs we need to get something a little more consistent. That's why I'm wondering if the uh, enhanced LRMs might be a better way to go. Or just four LRM-20s and some ER larges or something, I don't know. we got to consider what we're going to do here. Rolling. Dump everything into this guy here. What's he got left in the CT? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's multi-target this. That should probably do it. Firing. Multiple yeah. We won't kill the building, but we'll get a start on it. Okay, Shadowhawk. What was that guy? We found. Uh, we want to just smoke the buildings. I don't want to move forward. Let's back it up. Actually, let's do an ace pilot here. Um, large buildings got how many? 200? Sure. I'm just going to slowly back it up. 
Trix has got to get close to do any damage, so... Got it. Uh... Don't even think we need to move. 40%. Twenty-five. Come on, where's the shadow hawk? There you are. Seventy-two. There's our boy. Yeah, firing. Not the buildings, the mech. The mech. You don't even need to move either. I'm gonna fire this guy. Come on, hit. Yes. Goodbye. Gotcha. You did. Waiting for orders. All right. Um. Sure. Gotcha. The sounds sound like echoey, ghostly sounds of dead people. Are people dying and screaming in pain as the building goes down? It's kind of sad. Come on, buddy, bring it in. You're gonna regret that. You are going to regret that. Standing by. Warroads back up, firing. Oof, gotta move first. Yep. Receiving you. Don't even need to move, just firing. Oh, another hit. Murderer. One less target. All right, just fire on him. Okay, a couple hits, not bad. They got a stealthy bastard in here somewhere. Up. Let's drop our recoil. And firing. Didn't like that. Didn't like the arrow system even less. Just doing it because we can. This should be good. Ah, mess with the warlord. Can't have everything. Ah, uh, no, let's stay in the trees. I don't know where the other guy is yet. I'm there. Timber wolf running hot. Let's leave the missile systems off for now. Copy that, Commander. Ooh, somebody's left. I need a new target. Aye, aye. 
Better reserve them. I copy. Yes, Commander. Got it. Huh. Standing by. Oh, there you are. Quick stepping it. Friggin' power armor. Taking the shot. You know it'll be horrible <laughs> if the arrow system actually hits this guy. Yeah. I just <laughs> I got a morbid fascination of watching this. Sorry guys, this has got to be done. Let's see if we can CT him firing. Oh, it blocked it. <laughs> it's like it didn't want to show me how horrible it was going to be. Oh well. All right, so contract payment increased by 45%. That's really nice. We got some really nice payout on this one. Uh, a lot of kills. Look at this blockade, man. What did I say last episode that he's going to get upset that he's not getting any kills? Look at this. All right. Um, I don't know. Maybe the ambusher piece, strict pieces, thunderbolt pieces. I uh, don't need those. We are looking for really sea bills, so. In I cockpit's a possibility. I love the initiative and the maximum evasion pips. The reduced stability damage taken, but the melee accuracy and stuff is really... Don't really need that. We've got one of these in storage, though. Because we're not using melee in this campaign, so... Double heatsink kit. Pirate fire control. Prototype double heatsinks. There we go. That's what we need. There we go. Now we can fix our build. We're for a sweet. Yeah. Although, you know, I say that, but we were running pretty damn cool in that gorilla. Okay, let's confirm this. Okay, a few mech parts and some junk. All right, let's have a look here. Oh. Well, we got a Shadowhawk. 34,000 repairs. Don't think we really need the Shadowhawk. See what's got on it, though. I may want to just scrap it for sea bills. Oh, it's an SLDF mech. Maybe we keep it then. It is a royal mech. Might be worth hanging on to. Why? Is it this much weight? I don't know. We're going to fix it. Let's do this. We might use it for something we might not. I don't know. Alright guys, I'm going to have to leave the episode there today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, drop a like. and a like, uh, <laughs> Drop a like down below. Um, also, uh, in the comment section, I, uh, once again, I'm going to apologize. If I miss a comment, uh, it's not because I'm not paying attention or I don't like, I don't like comments. I always put a heart on every comment. Uh, that I've read so if I miss it I apologize I'm trying not to miss any comments um, so yeah keep them coming I, I love all the comments they're all great um, also um, if you got any suggestions for loadouts for mechs um, keep dropping them in the comment section down below I don't mind trying things out um, I didn't quite mind that uh, gorilla loadout tonight with the uh, four ER mediums although I'm interested to see how it's going to perform um, how it's going to perform in a hotter situation um, maybe we drop the engine again and drop a couple of double heat sinks in it. I'm not sure yet. It doesn't necessarily need to be fast with that, um, the, the, uh, um, the built-in, um, ECM system and, uh, stealth system. So it just needs to stand back and shoot. I think I want to try and do the same thing with the night gear, keep it back and fire from a distance. 
So maybe the option of the four LRM20s and two ER larges might be the option, going with an Artemis fire control system and all Artemis ammo. Um, you know, it's relatively cheap to switch things around, so I might try that just to see how it works out, what we can jam in there and see how we can get it to work. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave the episode for today. So until next time, we'll see you later.